Right, well, welcome back. So you might have noticed that things have changed in here a little bit. You'll see behind me now I've done almost three quadrants of renovations and added a couple of little candles in here. I've also put some little pylons for my survivors to stand on just so I don't uh, forget where they are. Plus, uh, I've actually centered those things there. So when I put in the chandeliers above, I left those pylons in place so I knew where the center was. Because what will happen is eventually I will get some more items of equipment, I imagine, for these guys. So what I want to do is just uh, have them in a central place. It may look a little bit silly, but that's the way I like it for the moment. So I've only done sort of the right hand side of me there of this one. I haven't finished this one over here. That's why it looks slightly off center. But it's looking a hell of a lot better. Next thing we'll do is get up and finish the roof. And we'll also do the roof tiles as well. I think one of the next missions in probably about two or three episodes time. What we'll do is we'll just do the entire roof. So I'll just make a whole heap of uh, clay tiles over here. So what I'll do is I'll just make a whole heap of fired bricks here in the kiln. And with that I can then go over here to my builder and head on down to roof tiles. And there it is there, roof tiles block. So I do need to get some more clay before I do that as well but that's on the list of things to do uh, on the other side of things to do we've got a ton to do today the other one is popping in here to see the carpenter now we spoke last time about our glider but what's also now come up is an improved grappling hook so that's actually going to give us more distance with our grappling so we'll get onto that as soon as we possibly can. And we also mentioned very soon we'll take a look at that storage. We uh, don't have the goo as yet to do it. So that'll be it for him. Now another thing that's come up is now we have access to copper axes, which are a little bit better. Well, twice as good as our scrappy axe that we have, level 10. And also the pickaxe as well, level 10. So those will be of great assistance to us. But you'll notice what we need over on the right hand side there is copper bars. And we don't actually know how to obtain those as yet. Also we spoke about last time. Look we could get a Valiant Shield level 14. Because the shield that we have at the moment is only uh, level... What is it? Level 8. So that's a possibility, but to be honest, I'm not that phased about it. The other thing that we're going to take a look at today, and now that we've got linen, is we can now do a medium backpack. So fantastic. That's now in place. And in terms of anything else with the hunter, there's nothing else we really need to do with her at present. Everything else is mainly for aesthetics. So if we head on over now to that and equip our medium backpack, now we've got a lot more space, which is awesome. And now with the grappling hook, we've got a lot more distance to grapple as well. So you can see here, I can grapple from all the way back here. Whereas previously I had to come to about here to grapple. Now I've got whole lot more distance. So in terms of everything else there, oh actually, so we'll just get rid of the small backpack now because we don't need that. The other thing we're going to get done today is I've decided after taking a bit of a look around and 
also after sort of doing a little bit of building I've started messing around with what I'm going to do here the way this building has been built you can actually pilfer a lot of building blocks from here for free this was all completely filled in I've just gone through and hollowed it all out and uh, rather than spending my own resources which aren't that expensive mind you but I mean you know free resources are still free resources what I've decided is I want to work out a way to have a set of stairs from downstairs to upstairs at the back so we've got these stairs here at the front where we can head on down but what I'd like as well is to have some stairs going from the back to upstairs because this is a sort of second level like this and the other one is at the front so in order to do that what we're going to have to do is go all the way through and probably out the back now I've also since last time decided that after taking a look at this I'm not going to be that concerned if we do lose our enshrouded in here I did like it just for something different but what's going to happen is if we strengthen the flame we'll go from an altar capacity of four to six so I'd much rather have that altar capacity increased than be concerned with whether I've got shroud in my home base or not so that's the other thing we we're going to do today So we'll take a look at what that does in here, whether it takes our shroud away. Oh, it hasn't. Excellent. Oh, cool. All right. Well, that's cool. I just, I wanted the shroud in there just for something different. So happy days. That's pretty good. The other thing I wanted to do is I've gone through and... built up a whole lot of black seedlings just to give you a bit of an idea so if you see I've got snapping on down the bottom right there because we haven't sort of really covered what planting does and how planting works and all the rest of it is yet so what you can do with snapping it's probably the easiest way to do it I've found just leave snapping on it'll sort of tell you where you can plant now it's much better to plant in here you can plant here on the grass but doesn't grow as fast as we were discussing before about you know soil versus soil like the flower soil just grows flowers and the farming soil is pretty good for growing but fertilized farming soil which we don't uh, have yet is even better than all of those combined so at the moment we're just happy to go and build it down there and go and plant down there rather so that'll be just fine for us all right so now we've got some altars in place for when we do go up north and if we take a look at our flame altar now we can go up again later on but we need what's called a fell wisp wyvern head and we don't know what that is yet we've come across amber before so all we need is goo and a fell wisp wyvern head so we've got some missions ready to go there so that'll do us for this time around what we're going to do next time is we'll head on up north 